The final thing you'll do in Module 2 is construct a web logo, which is very pretty. So it's kind of cool uh, what you'll need for it in case you came back and did this at a different time. In your sequence-based similarity data, we need the tea coffee multiple alignment. This is just blast stuff. This was CDD. We are going to copy from the multiple sequence alignment that was constructed. Make sure you get everything but nothing extra. And I'm just control C. And then we need to go to web logo, which is here in the next section. So remember if you control click, it will open a new tab. We want to create a web logo. And we're going to paste in the multiple sequence alignment from our tea coffee section of our notebook. And before we say to create the logo, which we'll press in a second, um, we are going to change or make sure that it says a multi line logo. If you don't like the format of your results, um, this is going to make sure that there are 32 letters on each line. If you don't like that, you can change it to 50 and that can sometimes be a little easier to read. I'm going to leave it as 32 and then I'm going to say create logo and you'll see it pops up this really colorful thing that's hard to read but if you hover over it it should let you zoom and it becomes a lot easier to read. Um, we're going to upload this image to our notebook in a second but on page 55 of the training manual it tells you what all this stuff means. So for example um, we're going to be commenting on any place that's really well conserved meaning between our uh, case at 00010 and other organisms that scored high from blast remember we ran 11 of them um, to compare to places that are well conserved among those 11 different bacteria we're going to note that and places that aren't so well conserved we're going to note as well because remember we're trying to figure out what our protein does your clostridium one people don't know for sure what it does this example makes it seem easy so uh, the size of the letters means something and again I'm on page 55 in your manual the taller the letter means that that letter appeared in the different sequences from the different bacteria more often. So like for example, these two letter A's right here, they showed up in those two positions. They were the only thing that showed up in those two positions. The height of the stack tells how conserved that position was. So when we see all of these tall single letters, that means that's really well conserved across the 11 bacteria. If we scroll down, you're going to see that not all places have a letter there at all. So like position 541 and 542, there's not much conservation at that position at all. And in the middle of this protein, there's very, very little compared to eh, medium kind of at the top of the picture. And in the middle of this protein, there is a lot of conservation, even on towards the end a little bit. So the height tells you how conserved the amino acid was at that position. That means a short stack there's variation. The next thing this tells you is the width of the stack. So you'll notice right here there's an I that's super, super skinny. And uh, what the width of the letters in each area mean is how many valid readings of amino acids were at that position. So if there were a bunch of gaps that the computer put in for that position to make everything else line up nicely, then the letter shows up as skinny. So this I right here was conserved amongst bacteria that had a letter at that position that matched up. There were a bunch of gaps there though in some of the bacteria to make the rest of these line up a little bit better. The colors are colored similarly from before. Polar amino acids like G, S, T, Y, C, Q, and N are green. Basic amino acids, K, R, and H are blue. Acidic amino acids like D's and E's are red. And hydrophobic, A, V, L, I, P, W, F, and M are black. So there's a lot of information uh, that's included here on this web logo. So what we're going to do is right click on it. We're going to say save Im image as. <clears throat> and again, you're trying to save it somewhere where you can get to it again. So whether it's on a flash drive or in your OneDrive or Google Drive, do that. But don't lose it in case uh, you have an issue saving. So I'm going to call it I'm going to get really specific with the gene name, KZ00010 um, web logo. I'm going to save it as a .png. I'm just going to put it on my desktop, which is what you should not do, um, because I have already done this in my sample notebook, so I'll save it. 
Then I'm going to go back to my notebook and it says I want the sequence logo. So you click the edit button and this time I'm going to upload an image and I found it on my desktop and I say open. Didn't appear because I have to say upload. So I tried to save it as a ping, a .png, which is what's most friendly for Geniact. Um, I think this was a browser issue. For me, it showed like a broken computer icon. So what I did is I copied the image and pasted it here, which is usually a big no-no, but when you don't have another choice, that's okay. You can click the image and resize it, just so it becomes easier to see, and that's okay. But once you double check it, make sure you save it. The comments observations are where you're going to comment on it. So it might be easier to see on this one. So what I would say is, um, see how it says N right there? This is the N terminal of the amino acid, whereas the very end is the carboxy terminus, or the other end of the protein. And uh, what I would say is positions 1 through 96 show moderate conservation. And then I would look for another pattern. So from, I could even go to 100. Starting at position 101, I have this dead zone. So really it's 101 until really 191. 101 to 191, they show a lack of conservation with many positions having no letters at all, which means, again, no conservation. Keeping going with this pattern, starting at 199, I have a stretch, 199 until, I don't know, I'm going to call it 435, shows a high degree of conservation with many capital letters and wide letters, which again, capital letters means that letter, that amino acid was there in a lot of the 11 bacteria we picked. The wide letters meaning that there were a lot of readings, so it wasn't that there was a gap there, it's that there was actually a lot of that same amino acid here. So I got to 435, and uh, then let's see, the rest of the protein, it's really again from 467 to 511, also show high degree of conservation. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of an arbitrary nature to it. You could easily have said uh, through 533 still shows some pretty good conservation but to me this stretch of all capitals almost all capitals is different from this section so i separated it out i don't have to account for every position by any means i just want to be complete and these notes are for myself if you look at the key the k said 00010 key um, they said it just in words they didn't do bullets at all they said the end terminal end of this protein is indicated to be reasonably well conserved so reasonably well, okay, that's this. They call that reasonably well. There's a gap from position 128 to 164, showing the gaps were added to this region of the alignment. And the C-terminal end of the protein is highly conserved. And that's all these capital letters here. So there's your web logo. With comments, make sure you save it. Make sure your image is there and that you save that. And that's how you do a web logo.